Bouncing back from loss of a loved one. Look, I am not a stranger of losing someone that is dear to me, and that was my father. You know, the other day on one of my Q and A live session, there was an individual asked me this question on what I do. You know, I lost my dad 20 years ago. Uh, every time when I'm speaking about my dad, I I lose control emotionally and. Uh, and I just couldn't stop crying, and this thing just kind of like affecting the way I conduct myself, my business, and my behaviors is not necessarily the most uh, positive one. Because every time when I'm talking about the loss of my dad, uh, it just keep eating me up, and it's affecting my business, my relationship with people. What do I do? So that was the question that led me to produce this particular video. So again, I am not a stranger of losing someone that's very dear to me. And when I was uh, 15 years old, my dad diagnosed having liver cancer, passed away, and I'm gonna be very upfront. Any one of you uh, experiencing or experienced a loss of someone that you love, whether it's your parents, your siblings, your best friends, you know, your, 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 someone that, that is so dear in your heart, it's never easy to talk about it. It's not like the pain will completely go away just because of five years has gone by. Um, the pain was reduced, but every time when you remind yourself the memories you got shared together is always bringing back the, the, the painful moments, you know what I mean? So the pain is always gonna be there, maybe less, but you know, it's always gonna be there. It's just like every time when I speak of my dad, my tears just comes out, not necessarily from here, but it's really in here. It, it gets me very emotional. Now there's a difference between someone who knows how to turn a lemon into lemonade, meaning turning a bad experience into, I say, a motivation or inspiration to drive themselves to exceed in, succeed in life then someone just simply just dwell on the loss of someone. That's a big difference. So how do we how how do we how do we transition from losing somebody that you lost dearly and turn that into a motivation, a drive, an inspiration, a positive force that allow you to become the best version? That is the key, right? So the first thing that I want to share with people is that look, the people that love you, they will always love you, right? Um, but there's a big difference between somebody who's loving you than somebody who's actually proud of you, right? So eventually, I had to learn how to turn my father's past into my success in my life and business, right? Look, once again, your loved one always love you, regardless. Your father always gonna love you, your mother's always gonna love you, uh, your best friends is gonna always love you. Your spouse is always gonna love you. The people dear to you is always gonna love you, but they might not be proud of you. So once I understood the difference between loving somebody and proud of somebody, I totally transitioned from this direction into this direction. This direction is that, how do I make my dad proud of me when I meet him one day in heaven, right? So that, that was the trigger point. I don't want my father just to love me because I know my father loved me when he was with me. I know he's in heaven right now looking at a guy, his son, and, and he's going to love me regardless. But for him to say one day when I meet him, he say, I'm proud of you, son. I'm so proud of you. Guess what I have to do? I have to work. I have to build success. And I have to be happier. I have to contribute. I have to do something significantly for him to say authentically, son, I'm so proud of you, who you are becoming and what you have done, right? So for those of you who experienced a big loss in your life, and I know it's very emotional, I know it's very sad, but again, the way you're going to lift yourself up and bouncing back from losing a loved one into a big success one day and turning lemon into lemonade, is that you got to focusing on this individual that you lost. Do you want them to just, just to love you? Or do you want that individual one day 
when you meet him or her in heaven, that person say, I'm truly proud of you. And also understanding one thing is being emotional is a good thing, but being emotional all the time and not doing anything is a, it's, it's, it's a setback for a lot of people. Because anybody who's overly emotional and crying all the time uh, and not able to snap out of that, it's hard for you to become a leader. Think about it. Have you ever met any successful leader? I don't, I don't care if it's in your community, uh, in your company, in the country, uh, in any kind of organizations, have you ever met a successful leader is constantly sobbing, crying because they lost somebody? Don't get me wrong. They also get emotional at the right time, but constantly being emotional, that is not a good characteristic of a great leader, right? Because nobody want to follow somebody who's just overly emotional and they're not able to perform under pressure, under uh, any kind of crisis because they're overly emotional, right? So that's what I want to share with you guys is that for those of you uh, who had a big loss of someone that you love dearly in life, it's never ever going to be easy, all right? So the key to snap out of that is focusing on how do I make sure that one day when I meet this person just past, how do I make sure that this individual will say, I'm proud of you one day? Because to me, that is a big thing for me. And also understanding being emotional all the time, consistently, and not doing anything is not going to serve you great. As a person, as a leader, as an entrepreneur, as an executive, as a parent, as a son, as a daughter, and, and all that, all that, all that stuff, right? So I hope my message today has given a lot of you a lot more confidence. That's what I'm trying to do, giving you a lot more confidence that. Yes, life is not fair. Life is unexpected. Certain things are going to happen to you. But, you know, what's separate the, the, the today version of you than the version that is coming five years down the road? It is your decision to focusing on action, turning lemon into lemonade, and turning from a loss into an inspiration to do something bigger in life. I hope it makes a lot of sense to a lot of you. Uh, who experience a big loss in your life. I feel for you, but I'm also rooting for you to bounce back strong. This is JW here. Follow all of my contents. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, download my Just Win app at the end of this video. Take care. See you soon. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.